you you spend points so you don't have to spend any real money on it but points that you get for for being in the stream and uh, you can do things like make me take my glasses off hello hello everyone we're just waiting for the pre-roll ads to get started or to get not to get started to finish up <laughs> before we get started but i just wanted to say hey everyone thank you for coming and joining with me or while i play tonight uh yeah sadly as i mentioned on discord uh the doorsman had some things come up so weren't able to do the podcast tonight which sucks but it's okay i totally get it you know he's got things he's got to do and all that but yes, that does mean, however, we get to play a little bit more of Stray, which obviously is a great time. Freaking love. Sorry, I'm trying to heist. Freaking love Stray, dude. Amazing. And we have to beat it one of these days. We, we just have to. Uh, real quick before we get started, as the ad, pre-roll ad stuff is wrapping up, uh, don't forget you guys have a free vote. Um essentially free it costs one point because that's the minimum i could do every stream uh so if you want to vote on what games we try for the ps2 gauntlet as well as whatever games we're completing those are over there on the ps2 collection list i am slowly adding more stuff to it so i uh now have a little bit of a section for games to complete um it's just if you don't know much about spreadsheets down at the bottom there's different tabs there's one called games to complete and the ones highlighted in green there are the ones that I want to complete, like, now, essentially. The ones in gray are for the future. Uh, I just need to put a little bit more info in there, and I plan on adding more games in the future. But your free votes don't, like, you know, carry over. So you might as well get your free vote in now if you want, or, you know, sometime during the stream. Uh, of course, if you don't want to, that's fine, too. Do as you please, guys. But I think that's pretty much all I had before we get into it, other than... Dude, so, I had this game sitting here. <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake, of course. Noodle really wants to see Strawberry Shortcake. I had this game sitting here while I was setting everything up and whatnot and waiting for the, the pre-roll stuff to finish up. And, like, there was, you know, the normal music whenever you start up the game. And then slowly it turned into this just absolutely freaking beautiful piano piece, man. I don't know if I ever heard that before, but, like, it was really good. <laughs> it was actually beautiful. I think you guys may have heard it for a moment on stream, like, to towards the end of it, but it was actually really good. Is the Scooby game available? Yes, it's uh, not on the complete list because we haven't tried it out yet, but it is on the other list, on the games to try list, the, the PS2 gauntlet list. Um, so if you want to vote on that, of course, you are more than welcome to. Uh, and for anyone who doesn't know, you can just go to the link tree link that pops up on screen every once in a while. And from there, you can find my PS2 collection list. The The main one that you should load into is all of the PS2 games that are, that are out there. The ones highlighted in green are the ones that I own but haven't played yet. So those are like the main ones to vote on. But you can also vote on any of the ones in gold or i'm sorry not in gold those ones are finished we're done with those ones you can also vote if you want to on any of the ones in gray the ones in gray i just don't know when we'll get around to playing or buying because i don't own them yet but your vote will be tracked and carry over for the future so it doesn't hurt to do so early but yeah uh i found some glitch geometry guys there's some there's some broken geometry right here <laughs> do you see it i can't walk through that i'm holding the stick in that direction it's broke and then we can like we get a little like glitched into it like the it's messing with the the cat and the camera there's something we found we found a glitch uh trash game there's there's <laughs> there's broken geometry no i'm joking uh shit like that is so easy to overlook man whenever you're making a game that yeah and it's really not the big deal outsiders okay uh rue if you remember um what the hell were we doing <laughs> it's been weeks guys um i'm trying to remind myself i think so okay so we we collected a bunch of pages from the book last time right or no we collected like the different journals or whatever and then we brought them to this dude to check the window. Well, yeah, I know that's where we need to go, but I'm trying to remember like what we're doing or what we what we what we did, I guess rather, right? Um Oh, we're going on that's right. Yeah, he needs to fix like his communications thing or whatever so that he can try and get a hold of his 
friends, the ones that were, were attempting to go to the surface. Uh, I actually don't want to stop the music. That music is wonderful. Is there anything in here? Have we been in here yet? I'm guessing we've been in here. I don't see anything. Okay. Still really trippy to just walk through bars and stuff like that. Talk with Momo. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zergs. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. You got it. Let's bring them to the sky, dude. Uh. <laughs> and then he just closes the door. Just shuts us out entirely, man. Closes us out here. In this cold wasteland of a city. Anyways, <laughs> it'll be fine. Elevator bucket. The elevator buckets are really cute, dude. I like that. It's smart, too, right? Like, whoever came up with that at the, uh... I don't remember the name of the developer here, but whoever, whatever person at that studio came up with this. Really good idea, man. Good on them, you know? Having elevator buckets to get you between locations. Smart. Oh, look. Zerk. Zerk everywhere. Wait. Are we already outside of the quarantine zone? Or are the Zerk... I'm guessing that's what all these fences are. No? Maybe. I don't know, but there is suddenly a lot of Zerk. <laughs> I saw Rue's, uh... Oh, yeah, that's... That's not worrisome at all. Just, <laughs> just a hand. Just a dismembered hand on that freaking thing there. That's fine. Anyways, I know Rue said that, like, we may die a lot, but... Uh... Circle attracts enemies? Die, Zerk. Uh, where are we going exactly? Up here. Can I knock paint onto the Zerks? What happens if I paint them? Oh, nothing. Okay. Lame. So I can dump, like, paint all over their head for some reason. Not that, like, <laughs> I don't assume it would actually do anything. But just because I want to, damn it. Screw those Zerks. I can't get over just every time I boot up the game how pretty it really is, man. Like, I feel like urban environments are very... Not very easy, but, but relatively easy to make look really good. But regardless, this game looks really good. And all of the neat lighting, like all the glow of red and all these like zerk pits and stuff like that. And how it bleeds up a little bit into the environment and whatnot. It's really cool, man. I like it. Can't be in this area because there are so many of those little fucks. Sadly, nothing in yet. In order to get some of those works to get out of your way, you have to manipulate them. Lame. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Just jump, kitty, jump. <laughs> We're fine. Everything is fine. We made it out. We're gonna be okay. You could spend hours in this game just looking at all the random artwork and shit on the walls. I wish I had any idea what 90% of it said, but... Nope. Wonder if people are trying to translate all these other things on the wall? Because, like, I don't recognize them as a real language, but they could be. I don't know. Or it could be more of that robot language. Like what you see every time you uh, first go to a new level or new area, whatever you want to call it. Pretty sign. Remember. Get your human memories back, bro. City is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. People couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. And before, that's what led to the downfall of the city. Because people were lighting up all their homes and shit, they weren't able to keep the Zerk away or whatever, and that's what destroyed everything. I have no idea, of course, if that's true at all, but that's going to be my headcanon for now. I think we're going the right way. 
assuming we're going the right way. Maybe. No. No, we're not. Okay, jump on that again, and then maybe it'll rotate farther. Yeah, dude, look at us. Puzzling good. Surveillance. I miss when the camera shook their head at us. <laughs> I get why they don't anymore, because it was, you know, the dude, but still. I liked it. It gave character to the cameras, okay? Part of me was hoping we could just, like, roll this thing off the... <laughs> off the side of the building there. Uh, this is looking very zerky, guys. I think I'd rather not go over here if possible. Gross. Oh. The sound, too. I don't know... I don't know how well that's coming through on stream, but it's like, it's like squishy and fleshy sounding as we're walking across it. It's gross. <laughs> that's a little disturbing, actually. It's fine, though. <laughs> Just move deeper into Zerk territory. Oh, good, yeah, just knock down the fences, man. Uh, those look like Zerky boys. Can I... Oh, can we, like, trap them in there? Is that what hacking this door does? <laughs> yeah, I get... Oh, wait. Wait, if I hack it again, is it gonna... <laughs> is it gonna open this side, or... Or is it gonna close the other side? I'm hoping... Oh, God! <laughs> okay, it opened this side. <laughs> oh, no! Okay, um... Other side? So wait, what happens if I hack this side now? Oh, uh, nope. Okay, it always switches it. <laughs> okay. So we just hack the door and then run. <laughs> there we go. I'm assuming... I'm assuming this is okay. I think... I think we're... I mean, look... I don't know. I was hoping we could just trap them in there, but I'll take them just being behind the fence. That's fine, too. I can't help but wonder why was that even there? Was that a Zerk defense, or... I mean, maybe this is like some sort of secure facility back in the day or something. I don't know. No, you didn't do what you needed to do? What do I need to do? I don't know. The scale, man. Like, when you're down on the city floor, the scale doesn't seem that large. But then once you get up here... Oh, man. If you could only see the bottom, it would be... Amazing. Everything's still so big. Like, I wish... I kind of I kind of just want to be playing Spider-Man, I guess, dude. Because now suddenly I'm like, dude, can I just go all the way up there? <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, I just want to get to the highest point in the world, dude. Let's go. That's probably where we're going, though, right? Because we're, we're trying to put the satellites up or whatever. So I'm assuming the satellites are in the, the highest area available. Can we, like, pop these Zerky egg things? I don't trust them. Be in here like this. This is my bucket now. Oh, never mind. My bucket's gone. Can I hack this? Where am I going? Up there? No, because where would I go after that? Aha! No, don't. Cat, go back. Kitty? Bad kitty. Go. Thank you. Good kitty. And also, just because, 
Goodbye. <laughs> you got to, man. You're a cat. You have no choice. It's like a law or something. If you see something, you have to knock it off. Ooh, this is gross. There's a weird buzzing sound, too. Almost like electrical or, or a little bit like cicadas. What was that? I like how the music's suddenly getting like a little more industrial. Okay, there's some Zerky boys. They must be too far away from me to meow at them. Oh good, they're over there too. Where are we trying to get? Before I just start like running around. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Go away. Go away. No! No! Kitty! Fuck. <laughs> I think I think we really need to figure out where the hell we're going, man. <laughs> Turns out running into a horde of them is not a good look, dude. This is where you died if you die. I totally understand why, dude. Yeah, that's <laughs> I mean, if you know where you're going, it's probably not all that bear bad, but like you coped with Nate, he enjoyed Gunfire Reborn. I'm still hoping to be able to play some Gunfire Reborn either later tonight, like single, or uh, a little bit tomorrow. Oh god. Oh god, they found me. <laughs> like, I thought maybe we had to jump up here. Oh, we do have to jump up here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. Take our time. Figure out where we're going. We're probably going to that one over there. The other great thingy. Or, uh... What are these called? The construction thingies? Aha! Get fo oh, God. That one made it up. <laughs> oh, wait. Are there more up here? No, I think we're... I think scaffolding? Yeah. Girders? Something along those lines. I'm sure one of those answers is correct. Okay, I think we're safe here. I think. They're all trapped in the room there. Oh, I bet I need that thing, though. Hi, guys. <laughs> you look friendly. Do you like, do you like flashlights? <laughs> I don't know how to put the flashlight away. Uh, okay. I mean, I see where we can open the door at. At the same time, I kind of don't want to. Bad things are going to happen when we open the door. Okay, so we probably need that to get up there. Oh, there's a memory, though. Let's check that out first. Nito Corporation? Nito. Oh, Neko. Ah, because that's cat in Japanese. <laughs> they were responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper lo levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. That's where the Zerk came from. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. Yeah, that sounds about right, dude. Humans fuck everything up. Okay, so... How do we... Well, since they always, like, run straight for you, basically... If I hack the door, can I... Can I get them all to, like, come over here? Basically... Oh, God! No, kitty, jump! Kitty! Kitty, jump! Oh, God, we're dead. Oh, God. <laughs> I... <laughs> I thought I thought we would just run off the the edge there. I didn't realize we were gonna like just stop in our tracks. 
<laughs> I mean, I should have known. This game never lets you run off ledges, but for some reason that didn't like register in my mind that that's what was gonna happen. Okay, we have that still. That's good. Okay, hack and go over here. Be prepared to press X. Did I go too far? Too fast? Yeah, I went too fast. Damn it! Come hither, you bitches! Oh god! <laughs> Why aren't they coming? Oh, God, they're blowing up. Why are they blowing up? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Ew. Is that how... <laughs> is, is, is that how they expand or something? <laughs> like, their, their territory? They just blow up on it? Okay, nope. They can hear me. Oh, God damn it. The, well, their numbers are reduced. I don't know how exactly we got them to die, but... All of you, come here. Bitches, come here. <laughs> no! <laughs> this side. Follow the kitty. Damn it. I mean, they're mostly dead at this point, so. Are we, are we okay? Why's this damn barrel gotta be so damn loud, dude? Can they get in the barrel or? That one's like stuck under it. Oh, we can crush them. We can murder the Zerks, dude. I'm here for that. we trick them to like jump to their death oh god oh god i can't jump i can't jump i don't know i'm just gonna run i'm sure it's fine they're mostly gone y'all ain't shit now are you Uh, there's a power thing we need to pull. I don't see any Zerks, so I think we're okay up here. Excuse me, paint cans. Can I knock them over? Please. Game, don't do this to me. I've done nothing but say good things about you, game. Why can't I knock over the paint cans? That's all I want in life. Oh, no. When we hit this button, there's going to be an elevator or something that rises up over there. And it's just gonna be Zerk City. Oh no, a cage is coming down. Okay, that's that's okay. Well, <laughs> turns out it's still Zerk City. Get fucked. <laughs> Prepare to fight. <laughs> Suddenly, Mortal Kombat. Oh god. Oh uh, no. <laughs> We're fine. Just gotta give him the, the old razzle dazzle, you know? Uh, why door no open? Oh god. No, 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 no. Okay. Jump. How? <laughs> Where? <laughs> I see the cage, but I don't know how to jump in. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. God damn it. Where do we get in at? Do we just... Do we just, like, jump over or something? Jump on boxes near the cage, kitty. <laughs> we need the, the snake sound effect from Metal Gear. Just every time the, the kitty dies, we just need someone yelling, Kitty! <laughs> uh. Alright. Just jump and jump again. I got this. No worries, you will. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. 
I like when they all stay together. It makes it a little bit easier to control them. I'm assuming if we just do like big circles, just just big, big circles, man, that was probably not the smartest move. Oh God, there's more of them. Oh God, there's so many more. <laughs> I don't remember seeing more come out la uh, last time. Okay, jump. Ha. <laughs> no kitty, bad kitty. <laughs> okay. How did I jump back up there last time? I'm like trying to jump back up there now and I can't because it looked almost like we were going to jump up for a moment. I don't know. Whatever. Use the elevator. Let's go. Uh, do you guys mind getting off my wall? I'd prefer if you weren't on the machine when I go up. How exactly does this elevator work? I don't see any pulleys, any wheels. Oh, it's a it's a magical floating elevator. That's that's nice. That makes me feel confident in it. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing actually connecting it to the wall. That's fine. Okay, so this is the satellite array. Any memories before we do anything? What happens if we were to just... Okay, he won't let me. I was, I was wondering what would happen if we just went down the elevator before we fixed the antennas. Here it is. Put the transceiver on this antenna. I know what we're doing, dude. I just want to explore a little bit. Anything? Any, like, secrets? Human personnel only? No robots allowed? Use item. Let's go, dude. Lighten up the city one antenna tower at a time. <laughs> I'm glad... I was talking about this earlier today with some friends. I'm glad this game isn't like a 100-hour open world experience. Because I could totally see them doing that sort of thing. Where you have to go around this massive city or whatever lighting up a million of those towers to get information about the area to then unlock side quests and continue, 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 you know, repeat, 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 just do that over and over again. I'm so glad they didn't. We need more short games, just not like, I don't mean like, you know, 20 minutes and it's over, but not like eight hour games and shit like that. Not every game needs to be a hundred hour open world experience, man. Too many game franchises are going down that path. Look, the view is beautiful up. The, 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 the view, it's beautiful from up here. I remember now, the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Shelter from... Those look like stars, but they're only lights making the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable and dangerous. Well, it's not anymore. There's plants everywhere out there, man. I know. I came. But if you came from there, that must mean it's safe. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside. It was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Question, though, do we want to open the city? Because, like, wouldn't that just give the Zerk more crap to feed on? Is that is that a good idea? Sorry, I have an obsession. I can't help it. <laughs> there we go. They're gone now. That's, that's all I wanted in life. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, convenient. Took us right back to Momo. Got to give ourselves a good clean after dying a few times. I feel it. I feel it. Slums part two. Uh, Momo, sir? Or Madame? Or whatever. Oh, there's a note. But the music in this game gets loud, dude. Okay, Momo's note. Look, a note. Oh, cool. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is. Yeah, dude, that's super simple. Yeah, let me just jot that down real quick. <laughs> Be careful, it's case sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo. Oh my god, I'm so glad we have the little robot dude to remember that for us, because uh, if it weren't for B12, we'd be fucked. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. I like his little room, dude. I like that we can go under the bed, too. Oh, what's this? Oh, nothing. Just a bag. Okay, that's fine. Uh... <laughs> This still may be my favorite part of the game, dude. <laughs> this stupid bag going on our head and then reversing our controls. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so dumb, but I absolutely love it. Here's the lock for the window. The code was. It was an H, I think. God damn it. Whoops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. And then it was O or was it zero? Let's see. Excellent. Good job, B12. Sounds like a would you kindly setting type for forward progression. Momo is at the bar waiting for us. Let's go. Down the thing. Now, where was the bar? I remember we found the bar last time we played, but again, that was, what, like a month ago or something ridiculous? So, it's around here somewhere. Aw, the sleeping dude's gone. I mean, I can still take a nap, though. Oh, wait, we found more music, didn't we? Music lady, get up. <laughs> I need to find you. Oh, hi there. Who are you? You look a little angry. Oh, hey, it's you. You do look weird and small, but there is something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why. You can pet me. I don't mind. Would you, would you like an energy drink speed 2K? Just joking. I need to keep that. That's money for some reason. Energy drinks, like, they're robots, dude. <laughs> energy drinks wouldn't even work on them. Why do they collect energy drinks exactly? Hello. I do love knitting. So far, I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. If you bring me some electric cable, I could make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right materials around here. Yes, give me all the hearts. Grandma clothing. Is it called Grandma Clothing because she's a grandma and makes clothing? Or because she only makes grandma clothing? Why why are we walking so slow all of a sudden? Oh, is this the is this the bar? Where we have to like No, this isn't it. It's okay, you can leave. The Guardian said it was not the Zerks. What? <laughs> Oh, this is where we came in at. That's probably why it made us do the whole walking sequence, too. Because it made us... Whenever we first came here. Got it. It's pure energy. All artificial. Uh... Kind of. Like, there's no human life left, if that's what you're asking. As far as where do they get power from? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't have a clue. Elliot Programming? <laughs> Knock on the door and wait for it. That's the one. You meant the drinks, my guy. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> look, I have no idea, honestly. I have no idea. They look like just regular energy drinks. But, I don't know. Maybe they have bioreactors. <laughs> hey, little furball. Come here, I managed to get a signal. But I want to talk to the music lady. I'll come back. She's still here, right? Yes. Hello. Oh, shit. Get up. 
Oh, thank you for that music. I will practice. Do you think you can find more? I have found more, actually. It's funny you should mention that. Mildly Important Information. That's a hell of a name for a song. This one was composed by a renowned algorithm. While this lovely melody is going, have you guys heard of, uh, like, that AI that can make art? I don't know which one they use, but somebody used an AI to create an art piece and submitted it to an art competition, and it fooled, like, the judges and a bunch of artists and ended up winning <laughs> the top spot for the, the competition, and now there's this whole thing. Like, a lot of people are mad about it and whatnot, which I understand, but at the same time, it's really cool that, you know, <laughs> an AI was able to make an art piece good enough to to beat out humans. Like, it's really neat and also very uh, bad at the same time. Because that's a lot of people's, you know, passion, a lot of people's jobs, etc., etc. But as somebody that's not an artist, that's also really cool to think that it's getting to that point where I can just type a description of something into... Uh, a computer program and then it's like here's a picture for you <laughs> you know <laughs> like and presumably you could use that to make free cool art to hang all over your walls and shit i'm i'm down for that that's probably what i would use it for <laughs> get neat prints done you know Why does this remind me ever so slightly of, like, something from Zelda or something like that? Just a little bit, you know? Something about the, the melody of it, the, the tune of it, just gives me some Zelda vibes, dude. Alright, I got more for you. you can practice this one later. I can't talk with you because you're still playing this one. All right, fine. I'll come back. What do we need? How many energy drinks do we need to get that wire? Excuse me. Thank you. Hello again. What do you want now? This is an electric cable. The best on the market. I'll change this for a super spirit detergent. Oh, but I just have an energy drink speed 2K. Damn you. <laughs> What is this? Ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. Cost you three energy drink cans. Okay, well, I don't have that. Do you have anything else though? What about, no. So we need detergent now. I haven't been looking for detergent. I've been looking for, <laughs> for energy drinks, damn it. Okay, that's fine. We'll come back. We'll find your detergent, we'll come back. Kitty needs a sweater, dude. Oh, thank you for that music. I will practice. Do you think you can find more? <laughs> Funny you should ask, bro. Cool down. I think I can play this. Look. Let's go. People are absolute assholes. You're trying to get Pokemon Black and Black 2 on Amazon. Has it listed for over $700 and eBay wants me to buy it for upwards of $200. Fuck you. I know it's ridiculous, isn't it? The price of those games that people try to sell them for. And I don't understand why. Like, I understand some games are collector's pieces, so they're super expensive or whatever. But, like, there are millions of copies of those Pokemon games, I bet, out there, you know? Like, it's stupid. It really is ridiculous, man. It's like I was looking at getting back because I used to own every Pokemon game up until uh, Black and White. I had every other Pokemon game. Most of them got stolen from me, and then a few of them I gave away when I was younger to, like, my uh, little cousins. For Christmas one year or something like that. Anyway, so I was looking at like buying some of them and they're just like ridiculous. The cheap ones aren't even the actual games. Yeah, I know. I know. Reproductions just mean that they took either another game and uh, wiped it and then put the Pokemon ROM on it or they just made their own cart from scratch and flashed it with Pokemon um, is what that is, which look, <laughs> honestly, if or when I ever buy a physical Pokemon game, like a classic one, I'm probably just going to get a repro card. For the most part, they work really well from what I've read. There's just a small chance, as annoying as it is, there's a small chance of uh, save corruption. And then I guess they don't usually work with online play. But 
that's, you know, for old games, that's not that big of a deal. If you're the type of person that likes putting your uh, Pokemon in the Pokemon Bank or Pokemon Home or whatever you want to call it these days, then that can be a bit of an issue, but whatever. That's not the end of the world. Are you done or are you going to play it again? You're playing it again, okay. Yeah. So we'll come back. Music lady. Uh, and then, of course, there's always the other option, which is, uh, you know, <laughs> kidding it other ways. I did find a guy who seems legit, and I'm currently bidding on it, so wish me luck. But seriously, the fuck is up with these people? I, I don't know, man. Honestly, I wish I did know, but it's it's stupid how expensive it is. I have a copy of black, but it's, I wanted to get white um, and black too. But yeah, I don't know when or if that's going to happen anytime soon. Hey, another sheet music. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Carl. It's the newspaper from the people living above on level two. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. Wait, are the people on the other level still alive? Do we get to visit them at any point? Literally have the opposite. Well, I don't actually have black too because uh, I played black but never got around to finishing it. So I never picked up black too. It's the same with, well, not the same. I, I have sun and moon, but I never got the uh, sun and moon re, not remakes, but the, whatever the, the second versions of those they made were. Because I read like what the differences actually were, and there were so few differences that I was just like, eh, I think I'll just I'll just wait. And now they're probably ridiculously expensive, so kind of wish I hadn't, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Go for it, Momo. Hmm, <laughs> that's a weird uh, interface there. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Memory, not so great. Your opinion to better on the story, but I think Gen 7 is the worst of them all. I don't know my generations that well. Which one's Gen 7? Are you, do you mean Sun and Moon? Is that is that 7th Gen? Like I said, um, I would have to sit here and think about them, <laughs> right? I would have to count up from red and blue and to work my way up to figure out which one's 7. Can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out, and... Wait, is that you, Zaltazar? <laughs> Momo? I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Zaltazar. <laughs> Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Uh, Cher? Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewer to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. And it's probably even worse now. Darn it, we lost the signal. Can't believe it. Zabaltazar is alive and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. Sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zabaltazar made it, there must be a way. I'm just going to call him Z. I like the name Z for him. Z sounds nice. Easy to say. Not confusing. Never get past the sewers. It's infested with Zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. Doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you, your business is none of my business. Thanks, Seamus. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and Sun and Moon, yeah. To me, it's the weakest gen. I... I don't know, like, I liked what they did with black and white. As far as, like, it felt a lot like the original Pokemon games in a lot of ways. Which I appreciated. But at the same time, I never got around to finishing that one. I think, honestly... This may be sacrilegious, I don't know. It depends. I don't know how like the, the wider populace feels. But uh Sword and Shield, I think, is the weakest, man. Honestly. Like, I like Sword and Shield a lot, don't get me wrong. But there's so many little things in it that like the post game is is basically non existent. And uh the there being like no transitions, no train section. I was so mad there's no train section in that game, man. <laughs> like I First time I boarded the train, I was like, hell yeah, this is going to be like riding the boats on the first gen or whatever. You know, you're going to get on the boat. You're going to have some battles and things, a little bit of story stuff. And then whenever you're done, you get to your destination. It's going to be great. And then it faded to black and then it faded back in. And I was at the other end and that was it. That was it was done. I was like, what is this? What is this bullshit? I was so mad, man. And uh, yeah, 
the I, I Gigantamax is pretty cool though. Like I do like Gigantamax. The story as a whole was okay. It was it was at least a little bit different from the other ones. Um, the Pokemon designs are are neat. It's like still a little bit mad that they didn't include all the Pokemon, but I also get it. You know, modeling 700, 800, whatever number of Pokemon we're up to at this point, uh, in in 3D is a bitch. So I get it. Who knows what the general consensus is? Everyone has their own opinion, but the strongest opinion so far is that the last few games that came out are terrible. You don't agree with totally, but you understand. Yeah, I wouldn't go as far as saying terrible, just not amazing, you know? Hopefully the, the new one's pretty good. And I haven't played Legends yet, um, but Legends looks really good. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Wait, so these guys actually have, like fathers and mothers and i'm assuming that means brothers and sisters and shit how does that work did did like his dad build him or is it just like whenever they were built a thousand years ago or or a hundred years ago whenever the humans before the humans died out were they just like designated his parents how i'm curious how this society works man <laughs> Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he's working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come follow me. Let's just ransack this guy's apartment real quick to find a weapon that possibly may not do shit. I like it. Let's go. Jacob, Employee of the Month, September XX27. I'm going to say that's 2027, man. Just... <laughs> We got five years left, guys. <laughs> Use it wisely. <laughs> this is our future. <laughs> In five years' time, everything is going to be this. Oh, music lady. I'll come back. Hold on. I won't forget you, Seamus, and or Momo. But music lady takes preference. Pref preference, right? Whatever. <laughs> Words. I can't word. Oh, thank you for that music. I will practice. Do you think you can find more? You know... It's always so funny that you ask that, because yes, <laughs> tomorrow sounds cool. Here, watch that. I like the sound of it. Ooh. I like the sound of that. <laughs> again, it almost reminds me of something again, man. I can't put my finger on it this time, but... Oh man, yeah, I don't know. I like that one. That... I've liked pretty much all of them so far, though. <laughs> like, I want to say that may be my favorite so far, but I don't know if that's actually true. Oh, you're done already? That was a short one. Okay, well then I got one more for you. Number one of eight. Petit Valet. Sounds cool. Here, watch that. Okay. I could go to sleep to this dude. Can we get this like uh, soundtrack on vinyl please? I don't think Noodle would let me listen to it while we go to bed. She hates music playing while we, while she's in bed. I could totally listen to this and go to sleep though. Without a doubt, dude. It's weird how some of them she seems to play like over and over again. And then other ones, it's just like, plays it once and then done <laughs> hi have we met you no yoxy <laughs> look at all the great stuff that falls in our trash so many treasures we should go visit the barter man there's something for everyone over there yeah but he wants some some detergent or something better than tv on blast i just have to have some sort of noise i don't really care what noise it is um but I'll, I'll take TV over over nothing for sure. And TV's like the go-to because Noodle doesn't usually mind that. 
Unless apparently there's a repetitive noise, then God forbid. <laughs> Guy's cleaning the paint again. Sure is making use of all that detergent. Yo. Excuse me, sir. I hear you have detergent. Take. It's my detergent now, bitch. Do you have any music or anything hidden in here that I can steal while I'm at it? Robot oil. 100% <laughs> flux. October 11th. I wonder, have they been keeping up with the calendars or... Or is October the 11th when, like, everyone died? There was a video on one of his play- what? What do you mean? Playlist for weeks and woke me up almost every night for, like, two weeks straight. She's so dramatic. <laughs> I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. Is this? Oh, this is where we made them drop the paint earlier. Because they were tossing paint over for some reason. Don't really know why. But we, uh, we said something to them, or meowed at them, or whatever, as they were trying to throw the paint and made them drop it. I remember. A Luigi game? What the hell's a Luigi game? Knocking or ticking noise? I honestly can't think of one. You know your father would have wanted to help us. God damn it, Seamus. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you? I think I have an idea. I know who the fuck Luigi is, but Luigi only has one series of games. And as far as I know, I've never had any of them on my list. Uh, can I scroll up? Yeah. I'm looking for any sheet music to play the card to add some ambiance. If you find any, bring them back to me. Yep. Already working on it. Where is Granny at? I don't remember. Was she down this way? Teddy? Uh, yeah, you're Teddy. Or Teddy. <laughs> you're Granny. Hi, Gran- Oh, wait. Shit. Wait, I gotta go to the shop. I'll be back, Grandma. I forgot to buy the thing. I need the thing to give her to get the thing. Got to do the thing to get the thing before we do the thing. Hello again. What do you want now? Set of electric cables. Yep. Take the detergent. So, the clothing that they make, that's made of cables? I mean, Granny's a fucking wizard, dude. If that's the case. Look at that. It's impressive. You go, Granny. Hello, little one. Do you have an electric cable for me? I do, I do. Thank you, Mindy. I'll get to work right away. There's no way she made that out of electric cable, dude. I refuse to believe it. That is way too impressive. Like, <laughs> Look at that. From electric cables? Nah. There you go, little one. It'll suit you well. Thanks, Granny. Here, you get some you get some leg rubbins for being amazing. Okay, now where the hell are we going again? <laughs> I may have lost Momo during all of this. Rico and Zach. Mr. Momo, sir. Uh Oh, yeah. Yeah, Noodle. I mean, I plan on getting a shower. I'm pretty sure that's what you're actually asking. Is that is that Momo? There he is. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. Contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the others. Okay. So now we have to find a way in the thing. Right. 
rip humans heart <laughs> humans were the first residents around here it seems that they're all dead now what do you think it feels like being dead i know it's silly coming from me but are they actually at peace will i be at peace when i quote unquote die i don't know what it feels like for an ai sorry i didn't want to break the mood let's move on bruh I think I may have to try my luck at Game Force, but I won't be able to check until later because there ain't no way I'm going to convince my brother, my grandmother, to drive to the other side of town. I hope you find one for at least a uh, reasonable price, dude. For real, because yeah, I uh, I worry that it's still going to be pretty expensive there, though. Hopefully not like hundreds of dollars expensive, but I worry that it's still not going to be cheap, you know. All right. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break and then we're gonna go and find Seamus and or his secret lab, I suppose. But I need a drink and to just stand up and stretch my legs. So we'll be back in like three to five minutes, guys. For you can make me sing for a few minutes. Uh, we're gonna die if I don't figure out how to use a potion. Um triangle to back up uh select oh inventory maybe maybe we can use a potion directly from here mm, maybe maybe not forms quest map settings save load quick controls well controls maybe it'll tell us there uh anyways yeah so just just a bunch of different random things like that including but not limited to making me flip my controller upside down and play for five minutes which is what rue was just so kind to do to us action lock target inventory pause sneak block camera center camera move use item uh down down that's down so that means i have to press up okay so quickly press up there we go okay that used the potion uh, thank the gods although we might die anyways because i can't i'm just mashing the x button because i can't do anything else right now <laughs> oh oh when we're in a uh oh we leveled up hell yeah Ooh, some some dope ass slowdown whenever we uh whenever we level up there that's that's cool i guess um in games where there's like different characters you can pick the character that we play as uh that's another one that i just remembered you can also pick the next game that we play assuming that it's a game that i own of course um yeah i mean there's there's different things in there and if people have ideas for for things they're welcome to let me know and if it's something that i like the sound of i could add it as another uh incentive uh i think we need to use another potion so up no down i have to remember that's actually the down button because like i'm gonna end up fucking myself at some point <laughs> uh magic spell die dude our magic does like nothing we're also about to fall through this fucking ceiling thank god that whenever it, there's like auto lock on taking us tor towards the different people because otherwise we would be completely screwed man a healing potion yes all the fucking heals please can we go through this door <laughs> save them and maybe next week can make him sing or better yet you can not do that that's <laughs> i'm not a singer man never have been i don't know why certain people not to name any names uh but absolutely love that one though so i have no choice but to leave it <laughs> I'm pretty sure they would riot if I if I if I took it off as an option. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to take uh, Chocobo's uh, uh, suggestion and add a cheaper option to make the singing stop. <laughs> if I do do that though, I'm I'm gonna have to lower the cost of sing mode back down to something a little more reasonable if I put uh put another incentive in to stop the singing anarchy would ensue yeah exactly loved the singing of course you did it seems like half the viewers love it the people that uh like <laughs> aren't normally here get scared off by it which you know totally understandable <laughs> oh god oh now we got some green day or not green day fuck me dude three days grace going on over here let's start a riot I think that's three days grace, right? Oh my lord, it's so hard to walk around. 
Thank God it's almost over. And then we can do all the other ones that we got. The hydrate, posture check. Yeah, there's also like cheaper ones too. Like just reminding me to take a drink. Um, reminding me to check my posture, to stretch, stuff like that. There's there's cheap options too, but... You need to be punished for that? I It was a slip of the tongue. I didn't actually think it was Green Day. Holy hell. <laughs> oh. Six minutes. There we go. It's up. Thank God, man. That is so hard. Like, <laughs> playing with the, the controller upside down. It's actually kind of insane. Uh, but on that note, though, dude, Nate has asked us to hydrate, which means I have to grab a drink because I actually forgot to grab one. I have a little bit of a strawberry clear American left, so that is going to be my drink for the moment, I suppose. Delicious, delicious. I haven't been drinking them as much off, uh, lately because I'm trying to drink less fizzy stuff. You know, a little bit better for the teeth not doing so. Um, as well as just trying to save a little bit of money. So I've been doing like a lot of just plain water and flavored water. But, oh man, I forgot like how much I liked these things until I bought another one. <laughs> hello, hello everyone. I am back. My real life cat is trying to get up on me now. <laughs> if you're hopping up, hop up. Ah, oh, Jesus, fuck. <laughs> she was having some trouble <laughs> hopping up. That did not feel good, Katie. All right, you have to lay down, though. Okay? If you're going to be up here, you can be up here, but you have to lay down. Because I, I can't play with you all up in my business. <laughs> you got to lay down. <laughs> oh... This cat is obsessed with me. I've spoken about it before on stream. I don't know why, but she followed me up here. She has, like, different locations in the house she'll jump up on and demand pets from. <laughs> and then today she decided to follow me all the way up here and then try to jump up on my leg and scratch the shit out of me while doing it. Do you want to see the, do you see the kitty on the screen? You probably can't hear it because I have headphones on. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think she can hear. <laughs> Lay down, Katie. We have to find Seamus and or his father's secret lab. <laughs> She's forcing her head into my hand right now while I'm trying to play the game. <laughs> oh, God. Just lay down. Stop marking my microphone stand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, plug them and let her. My cat was hella confused. I don't have uh, speakers hooked up anymore. I don't have the space for it since I upgraded my uh, my monitor. So I only have uh, headphones at the moment. Katie, lay down. <laughs> but uh, Noodle and I have done that to both of our cats before. Her and uh, the other one, Gary. We've... Uh, put like cat sounds because if you ask google to make cat sounds it will uh it'll, well it'll play a recording of a cat or like uh you know put on youtube videos of of cats and stuff like that and uh yeah <laughs> they do get confused and it's hilarious i don't remember okay so it's elliot programming does seamus have like a thing if we can find a sign somewhere like this one <laughs> Super Spirit Laundry, Grandma Clothing, Elliot Programming, and Barter Man. Okay, so none of those. There's Grandma's Clothing. I mean, we were just there. You would think I might remember, but... Wait. Oh, it's Elliot Programming that we're trying to go to? Katie. <laughs> She's pushing my mic away from my face. I need you to lay down, okay? I thought... I didn't realize it was Elliot programming that we were trying to get to. Hey, Chocobo, what's up, man? Another vote for MGS2, you got it. Oh, which actually reminds me. Um, as a quick update for anyone that didn't catch it earlier, I do have more games... Or I, I, I have a new list on the 
the spreadsheet that is meant for Katie. <laughs> it's not meant for Katie. I'm just yelling at Katie. It's for games that we want to complete. It's at the bottom of the link tree. If you go to the PS2 collection list, um, there's a tab called games to complete or something like that. And there's a list of games that I'm trying to complete or, or that you can vote on to for us to complete there. Um, the ones in green are the ones that I'm going to be rolling on next. The ones in gray are just for the future. Um, I do plan on adding more before we actually roll. I just haven't had a chance to yet, but some, some, someday, whenever I have some time and Katie is not all up in my business, <laughs> she's wrapping herself in my microphone wire, <laughs> lay down. There we go. <laughs> I need to get, I need to get the, uh. The green screen. I've been meaning to, to order one. I just haven't decided exactly which one I yet. I had her pinned under my arm <laughs> so that she would just lay down for a moment. But it's fine. She already broke her way free and is trying to find a way to bug me again. She also wants everyone to know that this microphone stand is hers. She's marking the hell out of it. And I am lost as hell. So... Is it, is it Elliot programming? Is that where we're trying to go? Talk with Momo again. The notebook to Seamus and his flat. I'm sure you'll find this weapon as well there. Okay. So how do we get to his flat? Or in his flat? Oh, there was a vent where Momo was? I'm blind. Oh, dude. <laughs> that was so freaking obvious. Holy hell, I'm blind, bro. Oh, she's watching the cat now. Oh, she's done. What are you doing in here? I told you, getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. But I have your dad's notebook, though. What's this? Wait, is this my papa's? Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat? But where? Secret room in the flat, you say, huh? Is that under the bed? <laughs> nope, not under the bed. Under the table? Not under the table. Yes, Katie, I see you. Why are you, why are you staring at my face? I'm guessing it's behind one of these pictures since I... Uh, hey, look at that. Okay, where's the code, though? There it is. Translate. Time will tell. Oh. Is, is that the code? <laughs> Never noticed that digit code before. How did I miss it? I have no idea what the password could be. The clocks be the code? Spoiler alert! <laughs> I'll figure it out, man. You just gotta give me a bit of time. Thank God, Katie. <laughs> Alright. Now I can actually, like, sit comfortably again. Wait, what kind of clocks are these? At first, I thought they were 24-hour, like, analog clocks, but there's only 16 hours. What? <laughs> okay, so... 2, 5, 1, 1? Maybe? Nah, I'm not actually mad. It's fun. I would have preferred to figure it out myself, but I'm not mad. What'd I say? 2511? Hey. No sun. You're right. There is no sun, dude. It's normally 12, right? When did it get bumped up to see? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea, man. I mean, there is still... I don't know. Because, like, there is still a sun. I guess we don't know what the world was like 
during the, like, apocalypse event or whatever. Like, it could have been... I don't know. I have no idea, man. Or maybe this could also just be, like, an alt... alt-universe sort of deal, you know? Maybe it's always been 16 here, and it's not meant to be our world? Never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for a Zerk weapon. Pop up was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. Maybe the robots have 16 hour days? Maybe. So you're saying maybe they're the ones that build all the. the clocks? For themselves? Robots news headline Zerks are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. What I do find a little bit disturbing is that this is, like, something we're actually working on. Is bacteria to eat trash. <laughs> so, like, what if they do just go rogue, dude, and start eating fucking everything? <laughs> just metal, flesh, anything organic, etc. Like, it could theoretically happen. Defluxer blueprint concept Lice, light based handgun low priority visual appearance size decibel emitted high priority test in real condition objective 20 zerk destroyed per second let's go dude no create this bacteria we don't need real life zerks <laughs> i mean the bacteria though if perfected would do amazing things for us in terms of getting rid of trash and shit like that like it would be huge but I also, yeah, understand your worries. <laughs> Observations. Cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eat all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to the intense light. Oh. So, by... I was smart! <laughs> by shining my light on them. Support banners, not interactive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> do you mean the the pop-ups on the screen i don't think i have the option to make that interactive um there may be like a twitch plugin or something that i can get to make it interactive right now sadly there's nothing i can do but like i said maybe maybe at some point i know there are like things you can like plugins you can download in twitch to get things on the screen itself to be interactive, but those are just gifts for now. Something I've been meaning to look into and haven't yet, though. Uh, okay, what are we actually doing, though? Did we translate this one already? We did. Skip. I guess maybe we just talked... Ooh, hold on. Up here? Knock it off. Good kitty. There it is. A tracker? Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, you mean on the link tree? Ah. I missed the I missed the thing you were saying. Okay. It's broken on mobile. Can anybody else try that out on mobile? I mean, I guess I can try it out on my own phone, too. Because it was interactive at one point. Um, but... I thought you meant on Twitch itself. I was mistaken on what you were talking about. I thought you were talking about like how it pops up on Twitch and says, you know, to like and subscribe and all that BS. Uh, link tree, stream it all. That's weird. It works on mine. On my mobile device. You're using Google Chrome, right? I mean, if it's a problem for anyone else, then I will, uh, I guess I'll get rid of it. I like it being there because, you know, it's a good cause. But, yeah, it closed right away for me. I loaded up the page. It popped up. says, you know, support anti-racism. -raci act now. And then there's a little tiny arrow in the top right hand of it. I just click that little tiny arrow and it goes away. You'll figure it out. 
I mean, I can also just link the list directly. Yeah, it's just exclamation part mark link is all you got to type. And it'll uh, it'll give you a link directly. But uh, I can also, like I said, I can just post a link in chat for the because I'm assuming you were just trying to get to the uh, to the collection list. there copy link and paste so there's a link if you're trying to go directly to the ps2 collection list but yeah once you uh once you get a chance to test it out let me know let me know if there's any problems with it the cache was fucky okay okay so you got it up and running now then works fine on yours okay so hopefully not a problem for other people. If I if I get more reports of that being like a common thing, though, like I said, I can remove it. I just, I like the cause. So I'd rather not if I don't have to. Anyways, find anything interesting in here? Nope, nothing at all. I didn't find a tracking device. <laughs> Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. Can't believe my Papa might still be alive. I missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My Papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. Thanks, man. You so kind. Socks made in China. Wait, were the socks made in China? Or was the box made in China? Momo's gone. Uh, okay, so do we... I'm assuming we just go back to Momo now. Oh, we gotta find someone that can fix it in the slums. Uh, I mean, Momo's pretty good with electronics. Um, or Shameless, if it needs, like, any code of any sort. I'm assuming it's gonna be one of those two. Or not Shameless, sorry, Elliot. I'm assuming it's gonna be one of those two people. But let's go talk to Momo first. Guess who that is? Wait, what? <laughs> Ding. Oh, no. I don't know what order I said things in. <laughs> I said so many things. I don't know. <laughs> It'll be fine. We're either right or we're wrong. We'll figure it out. Oh, it's Elliot. <laughs> well, we're already at Shea or, uh, Momo's, so I'm going to say hi to Momo, assuming he's here. Oh. Never mind, Momo hasn't made it home yet. How does Momo make it here? I just realized, like if we go, if we go out the door here, right, out into the balcony, there's no way for him to get up or down from here. I guess he must use the other door, the door that we don't have access to. It's gotta be it. Okay, so Elliot, you say? We can do Elliot. Now I just gotta find him. Ooh, basketball. Wait. Where's the basketball go? I don't see a hoop anywhere. Uh, just kick the ball then? Wee. <laughs> I hear some random chirping. I don't like it. It makes me think of the Zerk. Okay, excuse me, Mr. Sign, sir. Elliot programming to the right. This one? <laughs> uh, Maybe not? Or do we have to... That sounded a little bit like screaming. <laughs> Hi there. What is that sound? It's awful. Oh shit, you're Seamus again. Uh, <laughs> Elliot, where art thou? I need your help. Do we have to like break our way in then? Is that? 
Cause is it this door? I'm thinking it's this door. And we just gotta like find a way in. By climbing up, probably. Up is usually the answer to all your problems, man. Just keep climbing until you find a hole. Like this door right here, maybe. Hi! Let me scratch your door. Will you answer it? What's that sound at the door? It's probably nothing. No, it's definitely something. Damn it. <laughs> I can't scratch it again. Wait, is that a music sheet? Yes, let's go, dude. All the music, please. Can I jump up onto the awning? Hmm. No. Strange. Katie came down here and told me you wouldn't let her play the game with you anymore. Ah. I know. I'm so rude. Is this Elliot's house? Maybe. I don't remember. No, I'm guessing not. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. It doesn't seem to connect to anything else. It's annoying, but you can chat from the TV. Well, that's good, I guess. Do we just go back down now then? Maybe we can scratch at the 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 door from the bottom now? Or maybe maybe we just have to go around and then up. Oh shit, we can't go over there. Yeah, they have the stupid things to stop us from jumping on any of the air conditioners. Okay, let's go back down. Maybe we can scratch on that door again. Damn it. No, the other way. Down, kitty. Down, kitty. <laughs> no, bad kitty. Go down. Thank you. Damn it. What do I do? Uh... Hi. I don't I haven't met you yet. Wop. You want something? Uh I mean not really. Do you want a poncho? She's very talented. I agree. Grandma is very talented. Hey Cory, grandma made these clothes. Pretty stylish, no? Very, actually. Oh wait, it's it's this door. Holy hell. <laughs> it was the one right behind me the whole time. I'm an idiot. Hi! <laughs> and then we go upstairs to get to Elliot Program. We've been here before is the worst part, too. I'm just dumb. That's all. Why are you, like, shaking, dude? You okay? Yeah, can I help you? Yes, actually. I have this broken tracker. Can you fix it for me? Oh, wow. That's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? He co oh, that makes sense. I know how to repair it, but I can't with... But when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. Do robots get sick in this universe? I need some backstory here. How does that work? Are they cyborgs? Do they still have like biological parts? Does he have a virus? Is that the problem? <laughs> I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. How about a poncho? Oh, where'd you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. Please do, Elliot. Please do. He thinks he can get sick, so he does. Hey, fair. Look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks, now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update and one more thing. Voila. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you are looking for. Thanks, man. I'd give you an energy drink or something, but I need those to get stuff. 
I don't know if this stuff is actually useful at all, but the painting, I think, is the last thing for us to buy. Alright, so back to Seamus then? Do I remember where Seamus is now? No. I do remember he's not far from here, though. Hi. Rosie. So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday's today, right? Time is weird. We don't age like our soft one ancestors. We are trapped here forever. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Way to kill the mood. Oh, hi, white bro. Careful now, dude. Okay, there's Granny. There's those peeps. Seamus. There's Momo. Seamus? You're not Seamus. You thought he was drunk when you first tripped him? I can see where that mistake would come from. That makes sense. Why isn't there a sign that says, like, Seamus here, dude? It's not down here. God, that sound is terrible, dude. Is this it? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Did you manage to fix that tracker? I did. I'm amazing. Thank you very much. got a ping. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. Is it that simple, though? Like, couldn't the tracker theoretically... Oh, uh, well, I was gonna say, couldn't it still be working, even if he's dead? But I guess if he died by the hands of the Zerk, they probably would have ate the tracker, too, huh? Because they eat metal and everything else. Just basically everything, <laughs> it seems like. This is Papa just going to be like here in the middle of town somewhere. <laughs> like, like, hey, son, I've been here the entire time. I just hated you, so I left and never returned. <laughs> uh... <laughs> you put it that way, it would be dead, huh? You would think. This must be it. He really left the slums. Dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Oh, wait. We don't... Uh, we don't have a gun yet, do we? Did you... Did you... Did you find the weapon? The Zerk weapon? I'd be much more comfortable going out here if we had a weapon of some sort. You get that in a bit? I want it now. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to just run from the zerk. I want to murder the zerk. I'm sure everything's fine. Oh god, are we going to watch Seamus die? I'd rather not watch Seamus die. But like Look at all these Zerk eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. Not as fast as you. The Zerk will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize you. He will know you're a friend. Outsider badge. Open the door for you. Thanks, man. Kitty got a badge. First say the Zerk, I'm out, bro. This is surprisingly Zerk free. Like that room we came through had Zerk eggs and shit, but now there's just nothing. This area looks pleasant, honestly. It's got a lot of nice foliage. 
some water. Huh. Remember. What do you got for us? Look at how huge this wall is. I remember it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and those in Midtown. That and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Trash human beings are trash? Yep. No surprise there, Brosev. Dead end. Oh, okay. Well, I see the Zerk. <laughs> but it's 2 o'clock, guys. So I think that's all we have time for tonight. We're going to finish this game someday, though. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. When, though? I have no idea. Be ready to run. I will next time. Actually, I'll probably forget. <laughs> Aw. The kitty's playing with bugs. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah. Hopefully hopefully you're here to remind me. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits. Because, uh, I mean, it'll be fine. Right? I'm sure everything's going to be gonna be just 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 dandy uh but no i am actually excited to play more of the game and i don't know exactly how far along we are in the grand scheme of things like i don't know how much longer we have but i i imagine it's not too too much more i'm gonna i'm gonna guess that we're like a third of the way feel free to correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like we're we're probably getting close you know what i mean uh but anyways, though, today is Sunday. That's right. It's supposed to be podcast night. So tomorrow's Monday. That means I'm off Tuesday. Tuesday, though, we'll be back with more of the PS2 gauntlet stuff. Oh, and before I forget, guys, Trevor Project, we're all, for, I don't know how much longer it has, for a while longer. <laughs> we're raising money for the Trevor Project. So if anybody out there would like to donate a little bit of money to them and can, I would greatly appreciate it. The people, uh, the LGBTQ youth in need, I'm sure would greatly appreciate it as well. As, of course, the charity would like getting money and i mean come on they'll like that too but no it, it is a really nice cause and uh it's something that i that i believe in and so if you can afford to and you would like to feel free to donate to that if you can't then don't worry man no no problemo i get it uh but anyways thank you for coming and hanging out with me i'll hopefully see some of you back again on tuesday for whatever we play then and until next time have a good night and be kind to each other Bye bye